Oh, yeah, I bet you will. Meet Charlie George. Come on, boys. He's a familiar face around Garden Oaks, hitting the streets, walking his two dogs multiple times a day with his cat, Blue, trailing behind. Yeah, well, I usually try to walk the dogs uh, every morning and then every evening and maybe sometimes in between if it's not too hot. But recently, health problems have made the regular walks a bit of a challenge for Charlie. Yeah, I've recently had a, a little setback with my leukemia treatment, and it's made it difficult to walk. And many of his neighbors say they couldn't help but notice the 64-year-old was getting a little overwhelmed. I thought I'd put a, a chair in the yard for him, and then I thought, well, I'll put chairs in the yard. You know, maybe the neighbors would want to put chairs in the yard, so I just sent an email to everyone on the street and asked if they wanted to put a chair in the yard. and. Then we made signs for them, and lots of people put chairs in their yard. That's why lawns along Azalea and Alba streets are now lined with all sorts of chairs, from Adirondacks to benches, from wrought iron to those that fold. Neighbors call them chairs for Charlie. They put these chairs out for me. I think it's incredible. I didn't expect this at all. These chairs are a place for the man to rest when his knees got a little weak along so his way. And Charlie's supportive so neighbors know he's too determined to live day. life and sit around too long. I intend to walk. Uh, Walk to the end.